We humans are an ambitious bunch, aren't we? We build towering structures that scrape the sky, explore the deepest oceans with our advanced submarines, and even dare to venture into the vastness of space, sending astronauts to the moon and beyond. But perhaps no ambition is as ancient and enduring as our desire to fly. This dream has been etched into our history for millennia. Since the dawn of time, we've looked up at the birds and longed to join them, to soar effortlessly through the air, to dance among the clouds, and experience the freedom of the skies. The allure of flight has always been a powerful force driving human innovation. Well, guess what? We did it. Through sheer determination and ingenuity, we have achieved human-powered flight. Human-powered flight, the ultimate test of our creativity and perseverance, is no longer a dream, but a breathtaking reality. Imagine the thrill of lifting off the ground, powered solely by human effort. For centuries, inventors and dreamers have been captivated by the idea of soaring through the air using only the power of the human body. They sketched, built and tested countless designs. Think about it, no engines, no fuel, just pure human effort propelling us skyward. It's a marvel of human engineering and physical endurance. It's a testament to our relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries and achieving the seemingly impossible. Each successful flight is a celebration of human potential. From the legendary sketches of Leonardo da Vinci, who envisioned flying machines centuries ahead of its time, to the Wright brothers' groundbreaking first flight, which marked the dawn of modern aviation, the quest for human-powered flight has been a long and winding road, filled with both spectacular failures and awe-inspiring triumphs. Each setback was a lesson learned, each success a step forward. The journey has been marked by perseverance, innovation and an unyielding spirit. Early attempts often ended in crashes, but they paved the way for future successes, and the story doesn't end there. Today, dedicated engineers, athletes and enthusiasts continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, crafting ever more sophisticated flying machines and achieving new feats of endurance and distance. The field of human-powered flight is constantly evolving, with new records being set and broken. These modern pioneers participate in endurance flight competitions, pushing the limits of human capability and machine efficiency. Each flight is a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. This is the story of human-powered flight, a journey that spans centuries and continues to inspire. It's a testament to our boundless ingenuity and our unyielding desire to touch the sky. As we look to the future, the sky is not the limit, but just the beginning. The dream of human-powered flight lives on, inspiring new generations to reach for the heavens. Let's rewind the clock a bit, shall we? Imagine a time when the dream of flight was just that, a dream. Our story begins with a certain Renaissance man named Leonardo da Vinci, a visionary whose ideas were centuries ahead of his time. Now, Leonardo was a man of many talents, painter, sculptor, inventor, you name it. And flight was a subject that truly captivated his imagination. He was fascinated by the mechanics of birds and the possibility of humans soaring through the skies. He filled countless notebooks with sketches of flying machines, from flapping contraptions inspired by birds to gliders with elegantly curved wings. These designs were not just whimsical drawings. They were detailed studies of aerodynamics and human anatomy. While his designs never actually took to the skies, they laid the groundwork for future generations of aviation pioneers. His work inspired others to dream bigger and think differently about the possibilities of flight. Fast forward a few centuries and we meet the Montgolfier brothers, French papermakers who in 1783 successfully launched the first hot air balloon. This was a monumental achievement in the history of flight. Now, while not technically human-powered flight, those balloons did rely on hot air for lift. It marked a pivotal moment in our airborne aspirations. The sight of a balloon rising majestically into the sky captured the imagination of people everywhere. For the first time, humans had left the ground and soared above the earth, proving that anything was possible. This breakthrough showed that the sky was not the limit, but just the beginning. But the dream of human-powered flight, where our own muscles provided the propulsion, remained elusive. Many tried and failed, their contraptions often ending in spectacular crashes. 
That is until 1977, when a team led by Paul McCready achieved a historic milestone with the Gossamer Condor. This was a turning point in the quest for human-powered flight. This ungainly but ingenious aircraft, with its massive wingspan and delicate structure, became the first human-powered aircraft to complete a challenging figure eight course, capturing the Kremer Prize and etching its place in aviation history. The Gossamer Condor's success was a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, proving that with enough determination, even the wildest dreams can take flight. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. How do these incredible machines actually defy gravity using nothing but human effort? It's a fascinating blend of engineering, physics and sheer human determination. Well. It's all about a delicate dance between four key forces, lift, drag, thrust, and weight. Each of these forces plays a crucial role in keeping the aircraft aloft and moving forward. Think of a bird soaring effortlessly through the air. Birds have mastered the art of flight over millions of years of evolution. Its wings, with their curved shape, generate lift by creating a difference in air pressure. This natural design is something engineers try to replicate in human-powered aircraft. The air flowing over the top of the wing travels faster than the air underneath, resulting in lower pressure on top and higher pressure below, which pushes the wing, and therefore the bird, upwards. This principle is known as Bernoulli's principle. Now, human-powered aircraft work on the same principle. They mimic the natural flight mechanics of birds to achieve lift. They have large, lightweight wings designed to maximize lift while minimizing drag which is the resistance encountered from the air. The design of these wings is critical to the aircraft's performance. Thrust, the force that propels the aircraft forward, is generated by the pilot, usually by pedalling a sophisticated system of gears and sprockets connected to a propeller. This system converts human energy into mechanical energy. Because human power output is limited, every single aspect of a human-powered aircraft must be optimised for efficiency. This means using the lightest materials available and designing the aircraft to be as aerodynamic as possible. We're talking ultra-lightweight materials, incredibly aerodynamic designs, and pilots who are essentially super athletes, capable of sustaining incredible power output for extended periods. These pilots undergo rigorous training to build the strength and endurance needed for flight. The combination of advanced engineering Innovative design and human perseverance makes human-powered flight a remarkable achievement. It's a testament to what can be accomplished when we push the boundaries of what's possible. So, the next time you see a human-powered aircraft in action, remember the incredible effort and ingenuity that goes into making it soar. It's not just about flying, it's about redefining the limits of human potential. Section 4. Pushing the Limits modern innovations in human-powered flight. The world of human-powered flight is constantly evolving, with brilliant minds pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Remember the Creamer Prize I mentioned earlier? Well, it spurred a wave of innovation, leading to even more remarkable achievements. Take the MIT Daedalus, for example. This incredible aircraft, named after the mythical Greek craftsman, completed a staggering 72-mile flight between the Greek islands of Crete and Santorini in 1988. The Daedalus showcased the incredible potential of human-powered flight, proving that long distances could be conquered with nothing but muscle power and ingenious engineering. But it's not just about distance. Modern human-powered aircraft are also becoming more sophisticated incorporating advanced materials like carbon fibre and cutting-edge aerodynamic designs. Some designs even feature solar panels to supplement the pilot's power, further extending their range. And let's not forget about the Events like the Christmas Day, these events all united by their passion. Section 5, Taking Flight in a Suit, The Rise of Wingsuit Flying 
Now let's talk about a different breed of human-powered flight wing suit flying. Imagine leaping from a mountain top, your body encased in a specialized suit with fabric wings and experiencing the exhilarating sensation of gliding like a flying squirrel. It's the closest humans have come to experiencing true, unadulterated flight. Wingsuits, with their webbed fabric wings that extend from the arms to the legs, create lift from the air as the wearer falls, allowing them to glide horizontally for considerable distances. By adjusting their body position and manipulating the wings, skilled wingsuit pilots can maneuver with incredible precision, soaring through canyons, skimming mountain ridges, and even performing breathtaking aerial acrobatics. While not strictly flight in the traditional sense, as wingsuit pilots are still descending, it's a thrilling and visually spectacular form of human-powered aerial adventure. It requires immense courage, skill, and a deep understanding of aerodynamics. 